Wir befinden uns in Wiener Neudorf. Hier wurde die fünfte Wasserstofftankstelle gebaut in Österreich. Die Pause betrug ca. zwei Monate. Damit ist auch Österreich infrastrukturmäßig erschlossen. Wir haben auch in Deutschland Wasserstofftankstellen errichtet. Das haben wir im Rahmen der H2 Mobility gemacht, die sich zum Ziel genommen hat, 400 Tankstellen zu errichten. This will provide a network so dense, you can drive a hydrogen car right across Europe without worrying about running out of fuel. All without sacrificing any creature comforts and with a clear conscience. Hydrogen vehicle drivers have a lot to smile about. Instead of exhaust fumes, the only emission is water vapor. And that's pretty much the only change for the driver, including the way you fill up. Fuel costs, comparable to gasoline. Range, similar to a combustion engine. Fueling process, still with a classic fuel pump. Time needed for fueling, just like before. The hydrogen filling station itself is a high-tech facility, starting with the storage. The gas awaits customers in racks of cylinders or an above-ground fuel storage tank. Hydrogen is very amenable to compression, so there's space here to fully fuel around 60 vehicles. In order to get a similar amount of energy into a hydrogen vehicle as with gasoline or diesel, the fueling process requires much higher pressure than is needed for storage. This is why hydrogen filling stations have compressors to reduce the volume of the hydrogen by an additional 94%. The highly compressed fuel undergoes minimal expansion during the fueling process at the pump. And when hydrogen expands, it warms up. To ensure that temperatures don't rise too much when refueling, the hydrogen is cooled to minus 40 degrees Celsius before it reaches the nozzle. The fueling process is monitored electronically. If all of the measurements are normal, a full tank takes around three minutes. 700 bar pressure in the tank means the end of the process. The hydrogen then has an effective volume of 55 cubic meters, equivalent to around 250 full bathtubs. There's loads of energy contained here, and yet a hydrogen tank is no more dangerous than a battery or a gasoline tank. If a fault is detected, the fuel is released in a controlled manner. If the highly resilient container is damaged, then the fuel dissipates immediately. Hydrogen is 13 times lighter than air, therefore it rises rapidly and mixes with the air where it is completely harmless. At the filling station there are also various features to minimize any threat of explosion. In der Anlage sind die Anlagenteile mit Sicherheitsventilen abgesichert, bei denen im Störfall der Wasserstoff über den Kamin in die Umgebung abgeführt wird. Eine weitere Sicherheitseinrichtung betrifft das Vermeiden von explosionsfähigen Atmosphären. Dazu wird mit Ventilatoren permanent die Luft umgewälzt, um das Entstehen von explosionsfähigen Gemischen zu vermeiden. Measures like this make hydrogen so low risk that the technology can be applied practically anywhere. Wir haben uns entschieden, eine Wasserstofftankstelle neben einer konventionellen Tankstelle zu richten, weil wir unseren Kunden alle Arten von Mobilität anbieten wollen, also Wasserstoff, E-Mobility, Erdgas und konventionelle Treibstoffe. Und zusätzlich wollen wir auch Kaffee und Sandwiches anbieten. Once you've filled up, you can get 500 kilometers and more on a single tank. Even today, hydrogen vehicles are responsible for around 30% less carbon dioxide than those powered by gasoline and diesel. As soon as new methods for extracting hydrogen are rolled out, the production process will also be CO2 neutral. Then, the only impact on the environment will come from the water vapor emitted from the vehicle's exhaust. <laughs>